Well, the Lima Symphony Orchestra, they're tuning up, getting ready for their concert on Saturday, and it's a multimedia performance, musically speaking. Joining us today, of course, the maestro and music director, Andrew Kress, and thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Okay, so multimedia presentation. Explain that, because it's a little bit different, I assume, from what you guys normally do. It's a little bit different, although it's not going to be anything too crazy. Um, you know, usually we just present the music. Maybe there's a little bit of talking, but we, we play the music down. But, you know, I do feel that you don't need to know anything to enjoy this music. Sure. But if you do, uh, it adds a lot to it. And so the idea here is we're taking a monumental piece, the Tchaikovsky Fifth Symphony. It's been around since the 1880s. Uh, it's a really popular piece of music, but we're going to dissect it a little bit, assuming that not everybody has degrees in music like we do and has really studied all of this. Uh, give some insight into the historical background in the first half, talk about his life. But this is a piece which is all about fate. He wrote that, and it's about his, his emotional uh, feelings around predestination and fate and life and death. And so we're going to take a bit of an emotional journey and dissect the form of the piece and talk about why did he want to talk about fate and in, in which scenario are, you know, are we discussing fate and we're going to play, uh, play excerpts in the first half with the full symphony and have some images and have some background information and then in the second half play the entire thing. So by that time, I think you're going to feel really smart by the time we actually play the entire symphony. That's awesome because many times we don't know, like you said, about it. And, you know, he's a popular name that we hear, and we don't even know that much about him, most of us who don't study music. So a little history and all that stuff will really give us insight into the piece, I assume. It's going to add a lot, I think, to know what kinds of things he dealt with in his life, the, the tragedies and the triumphs in his life, and what directly influenced this music. And it, it adds so much to the experience. And there's a lot to talk about with Tchaikovsky. He's one of the greats. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because Swan Lake and stuff like that, that's what his name gets associated with, right? So, But this mm -hmm. is music that will we'll say, oh, I've heard this before, at least parts of it. I think so. It's maybe his most famous symphony. Um, the most famous music by Tchaikovsky is probably The Nutcracker and Swan Lake. And But he, had, you know, he wrote operas, he wrote symphonies and chamber music. This is, I think, one of the best, uh, most performed pieces uh, by him and all of his output. But there's so much more to learn. So we're going to dive into his childhood, into uh, some of the intense things he dealt with in, in high school at a, you know, a private school back then and um, oh. all, all of the emotional challenges that he had. It's, it's going to be a really interesting experience. It sounds like there's something that maybe we can even relate to to him, even though, you know, this was way back, but we can relate to a little bit of what he was going through. That's what makes a masterpiece, I think, right? It's something that hundreds of years later still is relevant. That's very cool. All right, so tickets still available. It's this Saturday, right? Still available this Saturday night. Come check it out. It's a great, like, first-time experience, I think. All right, very good. Is the orchestra enjoying this, knowing that people are going to learn a little bit more about what they already understand? I think so, but, you know, we all learn something as well as we go through this together, and uh, everybody has their own opinion. My whole message here is you don't have to listen to it like I do, <laughs> but I'll give you a little door into the way that I hear this music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, awesome. All right. So before the symphony concert Saturday night, some of you will be going to the library, right? Talk about Mornings with Maestro. Education is so important to us. We have so many. We, last uh, concert we had, we filled the, the Civic Center with thousands of kids to do a young person's concert. This Saturday at the library, as we always do, we have Mornings with the Maestro. It's an intimate setting with five string players this time. We're going to learn about Tchaikovsky, but also learn what it is to be a conductor and oh. give the kids a chance to actually try it out. Oh, all so right. So that's, uh, that's in the morning, uh, Saturday morning at the library. All right. Being the conductor, everybody thinks that's the most important part. Is it? I mean, can the orchestra keep going without you, maybe, or not? It depends on the music. <laughs> uh, back in the day, there was no conductor in the days of Mozart. But then orchestras got bigger and bigger, and, and the pieces were more and more complicated, and they needed a little guidance. And someone has to run the rehearsals, right? But no, I'm absolutely <laughs> not the most important person in the room. Oh, that's, that's fun. Do you think the kids are going to enjoy, though, being able to direct the ones that are there, at least? The they small love quartet? it. And they try you know, They move, go, try to go faster, and they go slower and louder and softer, and, and they, uh, they get a little crazy with that sometimes. I but bet they do. They feel the, the power and the creativity that comes behind that, and they really enjoy that. Maybe you're going to inspire some music majors and conductors, huh? My new competition's coming there you up. Go. <laughs> nice and young. Okay, so that is free at the library, That's though, free, right? That's free, yes. Okay, 10 a.m. I think it starts. At 10 a.m., 10.30, something, something like, like that. that. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, check the library for that. But uh, this is just the second in the series. Are you looking forward to the rest of the year, too? It's going to be great. We have our Bells, Brass, and Bows as our next concert, our traditional holiday concert. We've got a Beethoven 9 at the end of mm. the year, uh, Ode to Joy, one of the most famous and most important things ever written. And then and closing out the season with some Dvorak, some new music, some all kinds of stuff for everybody. We've got New Year's Eve pops. 
Oh, it's, there's a lot there's some coming fun up. Coming up, yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much for coming today. Thank you so much. All right, don't go away. We'll.